Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. Welcome to this virtual reality science app explaining adhesion. Now I have an interface here and above the interface I have a blue polymer and some of the blue polymer chains are extending below into the white polymer and some of the white polymer chains are extending above into the blue domain. If I pull the interface apart then these intermingled polymer chains mostly slide past each other and the work of adhesion is quite modest. You get the occasional tangle and when that tangle breaks you get a big jump in the work of adhesion. There we go. But the work of adhesion is fairly modest. Now that was intermingling. Let's get entangled with 100% tangles. I reset and now you see I've got these loops of polymers and mostly when we separate it, they will get tangled with each other. Here we go. Nothing much happens. And then these tangled chains start pulling on each other, stretching the chemical bonds, stretching all over until one of them breaks. And the fact you have to pull so many means that you have a big increase in the adhesion force. So we've got a work of adhesion of 3000. If I increase the number of chains, that's simulating increasing the chain density, and if I increase the number of links in the chain, there we go, and I reset, and then restart, we see that there are many more chains to break and you have to stretch each chain much longer, so the work of adhesion is going to be considerably larger. And because this is VR, I can move out and see the whole thing. I can go up if I wish, I can look down, I can go below, I can go really close. VR is a wonderful way of showing science. So there we go, we're up to 4,000 already. Still haven't broken all those chains. 6,000. So now you're getting a good feel for the difference between intermingling and entanglement.